When crap hits the fan, people will not be ready. It's that simple. And you and I, well, of course we will be. But there are certain things that absolutely will become priceless. They'll become absolutely gold when crap hits the fan. And so for you and I, since we are preparing ahead of time, it's the perfect things to barter. So next time you come across these items on sale or on clearance, stock up on them and you know, you're gonna become the king or queen of bartering and crap hits the fan. All right, I'm gonna go kind of quick. I'm gonna go kind of fast in this. So make sure you hit the pause button and take notes. Let's go through 41 items that you wanna stock up on now to be ready for crap hits the fan. Obviously we start off with food and water. So number one, getting food supplies, hunting, fishing items, traps. Number two, seeds but not just seeds, seeds for your area, for your growing zone. Number three, so essential, water filters. You have to have a lot of water. Number four, firearms, but not just firearms, drill and train now. Five, ammunition, of course. And you may wanna consider reloading stuff as well. Granted, for bartering reasons, you may wanna be very careful about this because if you give somebody the ammo, barter the ammo that they need, they may use it, if you know what I mean. Number six, knives for work and for defense. Multi-tools too, and sharpeners. Number seven, first aid, huge list, anything from basic bandages to trauma units. Number eight, over-the-counter medications, you name it, ibuprofen, Tylenol, anti-diarrheals. And this is simple, go through your medicine cabinet now, see what you have in stock, see what you use, and stock up in a lot of that. Number nine, prescription medications like antibiotics, pain meds, or even glasses. Number 10, salt, not necessarily for food, but medical reasons and electrolytes. 11, vices, people love their vices, tobacco, alcohol, you name it. 12 books, especially how-to books, lots of how-to books. There's not gonna be any internet or YouTube. No Goshen prepping when crap is the fan. Number 13, lighting, anything from flashlights, lanterns, but get rechargeable stuff and even consider candles too. Number 14, gadgets, Geiger counter, thermal scope, night vision, solar powered security lights, battery powered motion detectors. 15, communications, crank radios, walkie talkies, ham radios. 16, power systems like, for example, solar generators. 17, batteries and battery chargers like AA, AAA, 9 volt. But also the deep cell rechargeable ones like RV and boat batteries are really good to have. 18, with that, a battery charger or a jump starter. 19, cooking equipment, camp stoves, biolite, also things like foil and coffee filters. Number 20, cookware, cast iron and camping sets. 21, fire starting, like obviously lighters, matches, and fire starters, but you know, wood prep too, like axes and saws. 22, transportation. Car parts, kind of hard to find. Fluids for your car, brake fluid, antifreeze, etc. but you can't depend on your car. It may not be able to be driven. So things like bikes, wagons will be helpful too. 23, navigation items, maps, compasses, binoculars. 24, cleaning supplies. Bleach won't last long, so get a lot of things like rubbing alcohol. 25 shelter items like a tent for example not just for outdoors and also things to repair your roof 26 camping gear and that's a huge category anything camping gear camping gear is gold in this situation stock up any clearance sale pick up a lot of it 27 soaps hand soaps liquid soap bar soap even soap making gear 28 hygiene especially feminine hygiene but things like toothpaste toothbrushes dental kits and baking soda is a must 29 baby supplies even if you don't have a baby Diapers, formula, and things like wipes, which are not just for babies. 30, clothing. Make sure you get very durable, rugged clothing, also winter clothing. 31, footwear. Really, really good boots and lots and lots of wool socks. 32, gloves. A wide variety, including work gloves, tactical gloves, winter gloves. 33, sewing kits. Mending clothes is essential. 34, keep warm in layers. Blankets, bivvies, sleeping bags, even the emergency blankets. 35, tools. Oh, so many. I could barely make a list of the amount of tools you may need, anything from gardening to fixing and building in your home. Oh yeah, lots and lots of tools. Now, don't necessarily fall into power tools. If you have a way to charge batteries, sure, but you may wanna consider getting manual tools because power may not be available. 36, building supplies, lots of things like screws, nails, epoxy, even roofing tar. 37, plastics like plastic rolls, seal off your home, heavy duty garbage bags, get lots of them. 38, cordage, ropes, paracord, wire, zip ties. 39, adhesives, this is a huge one, duct tape, get lots of it. Super glue, caulk, and things like silicon sealants. 40, manual kitchen items, essential, manual mixers, can openers, manual grinders, manual grain mills. And finally, 41, entertainment, obviously essential for kids, not necessarily yours, but neighbors, people who barter for the stuff, games, cards, coloring books, and crayons. Now, a very few specific items, like a biolite stove, I linked below in case you wanna check that stuff out. But overall, 
this list has a lot of stuff. It's not simply just for bartering, but you know, stockpiling yourself, having a lot of these items, but I'm sure I missed some stuff. Put it in the comments below. I want to see what that is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep prepping, keep stockpiling, and we'll see you next time.